Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Francis, and today I'll be sharing with you my first Dior unboxing. Yes, that's right. I have my first Dior small leather good that I just purchased um, to our recent trip in Hawaii, and I'm also going to do an unboxing of my husband's low top sneakers from Dior as well. So here are the bags. This is the navy blue one is my husband's and this one is mine. We previously did a video on our Louis Vuitton, uh, his and her Louis Vuitton unboxing from last summer when we went to do our pregnancy announcement in Hawaii. And I will go ahead and link that video down below so you can go ahead and watch that. And as you know, or if some of you um, subscribers who don't know or who have not traveled to Hawaii, Hawaii does have special retail pricing for certain stores. And for Dior, unfortunately, they don't have like a 10 or 20% off like Louis Louis Vuitton or Saint Laurent has, but they do have special Hawaii prices. Um, for example, um, they also have low ta sales tax, so about 4.5 or 4.7 percent sales tax compared to here in the Bay Area, which is like 8.75 percent, 9 or 10 percent. I don't even know what the sales tax is anymore out here, but it is like double the sales tax in Hawaii. So um, before we went to Hawaii, I told my husband I do want to try to look into getting a new purse or new small leather good I was I had my eye on Dior for a while but it was a little on the pricier side I do tend to lean towards Saint Laurent or Louis Vuitton as you've seen in my previous videos and so I was actually really excited to get something from Dior and it um, it's actually my very first Dior handbag or small leather good I did do a Dior beauty unboxing last year and I will link that video down below as well but that was just a little beauty unboxing and it, it was like lipsticks that I made in a lipstick holder that I made into a card holder so check that out check that video out if you are interested but let me go ahead and just start by sharing with you my husband's purchase so he didn't expect to get something but i think in the back of his mind before he went into the store he was like if she's gonna get something i'm gonna get something too because as you know we both are addicted to retail and we both love shoes and we do love small leather goods as well so this purchase let's just show the bag i actually dior dior packaging is so nice so this is the men's bag or what he purchased and this little I don't know a little trinket if you want to say it could be like a little keychain or even an ornament it has a little Dior right a Dior imprint on there um, so what my husband got are a pair of sneakers and this is the box he did already wear them we did go to Hawaii for um, a wedding. And these sneakers are the B23 low top sneaker in the um, oblique canvas print and these are really really cute. On the Dior website, I, I will link these down below for you to browse, but on the Dior website it is priced at $1050 or $1050 um, zero cents. So it came out to that much as well. The Hawaii sales tax at this boutique was 4.712%. And so the Hawaii pricing for these shoes um, were just $1,000 with the $50 off the actual retail for mainland prices. So here is the box, navy blue, very cute. Um, there you go. And it just shows the name of it. It does come with a dust bag. So just one dust bag. And you see the Dior. And so my husband got the, like I said, the B23 low top sneakers. These are in the ob oblique canvas. This is, they look like they're navy, but they're actually black and white. And I like the low top ones. It has like a little rubber tab here and then the laces go all the way up. So they pretty much look like expensive, um, converse but obviously not because they have the dior symbol and yes he did already wear them so they are a little dirty on the bottom but they are they have those little bugs here like you know like gucci has the little bumblebees but here i like this because the paneling it's a sheer paneling and you can't really see your foot but i mean when you're up close you can see it but i like how it's two-tone here it's white and then off-white and then the sheer paneling here and the black and white can this all around. So 
so they do also come with an extra pair of laces as well in case you get them dirty so those are really cute and my husband usually wears a size 42 in European sizes, like his Christian Louboutin shoes, his Saint Laurent shoes, but these Dior's run small, so he had to size up for to a size 43. Okay, and so now for my unboxing, I did wear it already, but um, I wanted to repackage it because the Dior packaging, like I mentioned, is absolutely stunning. Like, it's just so presentable. And our, our bags were, our shopping bags are a little jacked up because we did stuff them in our check-in luggages. And um, if you've been following me for a while or subscribed to me for a while, you know that we have our baby girl and this was our first trip to Hawaii with her actually our first airplane trip and we packed so much we we had no idea what to pack um, and what to expect with her uh, because it was our first time traveling with an infant uh, she did really well on the airplane and we're very thankful for that uh, however the trip didn't turn out as well or great as we hoped for just because the weather was a little shitty out in Hawaii it was raining and it was windy and it was just not the tip of the type of weather you want to take your in your four month old out you know and she couldn't really enjoy the sun we couldn't really enjoy the sun um because there was not really sun it was just windy and rainy but anyway let's get back to my unboxing and what i got yours products are like out of my price range i'm no longer working um i do part-time youtube and blogging on instagram so i do make some income but not as much as i did before when i did work full-time and went to school i've been having my eye on this wallet on chain and so this is the saddle wallet that i got this is the bag that it came in this little cute star has did a Dior on it as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. I did try to retie this ribbon, but I mean, it doesn't even really need a ribbon because it's already so gorgeous. So let's just untie this here. And so here's this. Just rip that open. And this is the little chain that it comes with. A little own dust bag. So what I love about this chain wallet, it has a brassy um, chain for the wallet. And it's not too shiny, which I love about it. And so here is the actual wallet and the dust bag. So what I love and what I notice about the Dior um, packaging is how much they do secure your item in their packaging. So for instance, you see this white, I guess padding, this white padding, um, just open it and it's, you know, keeping your product from, being stained or dirty while it's packaged. So this is what it looks like in the back. Blue Dior Oblique Jucard wallet on chain. So this is actually a long wallet, but it does come with a chain. So that's why it is called the wallet on chain. And I'll show you here how it looks with the chain. So I open it here. It's a saddle shape. You can see here the saddle shape right there. And then it has the brass D uh, for Dior. And as I take these out, you can see here there's another tab right here. Two buttons to have it to close it. And then there is a back pocket. Can't really fit much, probably just like for us, I we do have a Tesla, so the key for a Tesla is pretty much like a hotel key card. So I would just slip it in here just to have it on me. And then inside, what I love about this, the detail, the gold print on here. And then also what I loved about the wallet on chain is that it has a little pouch, little, like a little coin pouch that comes with it. And it matches the outside, same oblique Jucard um, navy print canvas and then inside it's just leather and they do have 
uh, these protectant cards to separate each of the um, slots inside. So there's one and two, three slots. So there's one in the back where you could probably stash some cash in there. And there is about one, two, three, there's six credit card holders um, after that. And then the next slot is this little front slot. It's a little shallow as you can see here. And yeah, so this is this is what I've been waiting for. Uh, what, this is what I've been wanting or having my eye as my very first Christian Dior um, small leather good purchase. So on the website, it is priced at $1,400, but Hawaii pricing um, is $100 off. So I got it for $1,300 with the 4.7% sales tax on this. So honestly, the total of the sales tax for my little wallet on chain and my husband's shoes was just a little bit over $100, probably like $110 or $108. So okay, let's go ahead and put the chain on here. It has these little clips on the outside. And there you have it, the wallet on chain in the oblique jucard uh, blue. And so if you wanna see me have it on, I'll put it on here. There you have it. And I like to wear it as a crossbody. And I do, since I'm always, you know, on the go with the baby and I'm always just carrying her diaper bag, I just like to toss this in her diaper bag and it's, it's you know, like a fun size. It's a great size. I pretty much can fit my iPhone 13 Pro Max in here and a few uh, cards and a an ID. So just to take a look, here's my 13 Pro Max and put it in here and I can snap closure and it fits in here. So also when I did shop for this, I wanted to make sure when I saw it in person that my phone does fit because you know, iPhones these days are pretty large and if they don't fit, why would you even wanna buy the purse? So, I mean, yes, there are micro and nano bags that a lot of people purchase, but I just feel like it's not realistic. It's not practical to use. I did recently receive a Saint Laurent Lube, mini lube, but that was mostly for my daughter and that's like a more of like a card case and that actually, fits perfectly in her diaper bag for me to use if I just wanna throw my ID and my credit cards in there or chapstick as well. And so yeah, this is what I got and I'm super happy about my purchase. I love how chic this looks. The brass detail is perfect. Like it's not too um, flashy and it's just a perfect um, little accessory to add to your outfit. So like my husband, I did want the sneakers as well, but I think that'll be my next purchase, maybe for Mother's Day. I don't know, really know what this occasion was for, maybe just our first trip of surviving with the baby. So, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed my first Dior unboxing. I'm so happy with what I got from Dior and I can't wait to make more Dior purchases in the future. If you like what you see, make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for future videos that I post and I hope Hope to see you in the next one. All right, thank you so much. Bye, take care.